Uh, the first thing I do is literally remove the down method. This is something that it might sound a little bit controversial, but I feel like if you want to do changes in your schema, you don't call the down method, you probably will do a new migration. Do you know what I mean? So typically the first thing I do is literally remove the down method. And if for any reason you would have a migration which is broken and you had to fix in production, you would ideally write a new migration. So you move only forward, not backwards. You know what I mean? So the first thing I always do is literally uh, make sure that um, I don't have a down method. That's the first thing I do. Foreign key, user ID, constrain it. Now, something that I never do, literally never do, and I would advise you to not do that as well. Do you know that sometimes people say uh, on delete cascade and things like that? I never use this, like literally. I never use on delete cascades because I feel, in my opinion, that such as important business logic, like literally cascading deletes, is something that you want to control at application level. Like the last thing you want in your application is having by mistake deleting a database row, and then you have like your entire database disappearing um, just because of that mistake. You know what I mean? My advice to you is that never use cascade deletes. Like literally, I'm scared of them. Because just thinking that by mistake, if I delete the database row, everything could cascade down, just scares me. You know what I mean? So if I were to run, you know, a delete on this database row, it will start to complain because there is still rows on the table B. And if I try to do the table B, row will still complain because it is still stuff on the table C. And what this allows me to think a little bit is that when I'm firing my action on my actions folder to delete this project, this table A, it will force me to go to every single table and explicitly and manually delete the, the information first uh, before I actually delete the final one, which is on the table A. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't actually like to tie my migrations with my actual code. So the problem if you if you were to do something like this, the problem is that if you for any reason were to change the user model to a different name, for example, person or you know potentially team, for for example, uh, that will affect your migrations, even the oldest ones. So you want to make sure that you don't you know you don't tie up your uh, migrations with actual domain logic. That is multiple reasons why I don't like soft deletes, okay? Um, I can tell you one of the reasons if you want to. Uh, one of the reasons is literally when you have uh, unique constraints in your database. So I'm gonna tell you an example. Um, if you were to have, for example, a unique constraint on a database uh, name, for example, okay? And you were to soft delete this row, you know, if you were to soft delete this, if you were to reuse this name later in the future, you cannot too because this this literally this column is soft deleted on the database, but aren't actually deleted. This is just one example. So the views, this is something that not, not a lot of people do, but um, uh, the views number will be big. And we know the views number will be big. So something we want to use here is literally a big, a big integer already, or even an unsigned big integer, which is way bigger than that. So unsigned means bigger than zero, okay? Unsigned means basically you cannot have negative integers within this column name within this column value. That's what unsigned means. Okay, and bigger integer is a bigger integer is a bigger integer than the regular one. I can just tell you that it's a much bigger integer to be honest. And something I never do. This is something I want to speak with you about. Is that I never use defaults. Okay, I never use defaults for multiple reasons really. On my actions, I'm also I'm always specifying the default values for my columns when I'm creating, for example, a project. I want to have the most business logic as possible within my actions and not magically appearing from my migrations. Uh, table string, which is a plan. Something I want to do is type, oh, I'm going to just type uh, the default of this will be free. You know what I mean? Because if you do this, you are effectively coupling a little bit of the business logic to your migrations again. So if in the future, the default plan were not to be anymore, uh, the free one, it were to be like something else, uh, will be kind of complicated to change migrations. You, know, you want to avoid that as much as possible. Uh, so what I do here is that I usually never use a default method and I kind of force everyone to specify what should be by default on my action, which creates the project itself. You know what I mean?